Hi, this is Leah from Palm and Grace. This is a quick video tutorial of our travel tracker spreadsheet. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this spreadsheet and its amazing features. I'm also going to show you some updates we recently made to the spreadsheet that make it even better than it was before. So without further ado, let's get into the video tutorial. The very first thing that I want to know at the bottom of the spreadsheet is that there are four tabs to track the places traveled. The places traveled tab, the by year places traveled tab, the places traveled with cities tab, and the by year places traveled with cities tab. The very first thing I recommend is deciding whether or not you want to track the cities that you've traveled to as well, or if you just want to track the states and the countries. If you do not want to track cities, the places traveled tab will be the best tab for you. If you do wish to track cities, the places traveled with cities tab will be the best tab for you. So let's go to the places traveled tab first. In this tab, you can easily track the states and countries that you've traveled to. On the left sidebar, you can search for any state or country and see how many times that place has been visited. You can see a breakdown of the number of times you visited different continents. You can see the top states traveled, the top countries traveled, and the top countries traveled by different continents. And then if you scroll to the right sidebar, you can see breakdowns of the countries you've traveled to for different continents. It is important to note that with Google Sheets, there are some limitations. For example, you can't track different regions in certain places, such as Australia, and there is no geo map included for Antarctica. However, you can still get really good and insightful information from the charts that Google Sheets does provide. If you look in the center area, this is where you input the states and countries you've traveled to. Once you begin to add in states and countries, the charts will automatically update. The percent of countries you've traveled in the whole world and the percent of states traveled will all automatically update as well. An important thing to note about this entire spreadsheet is that spelling is important. You want to make sure that you're spelling the states and countries and cities if you choose to track those correctly or the charts may not update correctly. To add in a state, all you have to do is type in the state name and then you can type in the year that you visited that state. It's not essential that you add in the year that you visited a state or country. However, if you do wish to filter by year in the by year places travel tab, it is important. To add in a country, first you need to select the continent that that country belongs to from the drop down. Then you can add in the country name. And again, if you wish, you can add in the year you visited. So it's pretty basic and straightforward and everything should easily update once you do this. So for example, if I visited Illinois, I could add it here and then that state would then be colored in in the chart. If I visited Finland, for example, and added in the year, you can now see that Finland shows that I've been there. The by year places travel tab is used to see all the states and countries that you've been to in any specific year. All you have to do on this tab is select from the dropdown which year you want to view. And once you select a year, all the information will automatically update. And it's as simple as that. The places traveled with cities tab is very similar to the places travel tab. However, of course, you can track cities as well. In this tab, there are four charts in the center instead of two. Adding in states and countries is the same as the places travel tab. However, adding in cities is slightly different. To add in a city, you need to add in the city name and then add in the state as well. This is important because in some instances, there are cities that have the same name in different states. To ensure that the charts update as accurately as possible, add in the state name just to be safe. So for example, if I visited Houston, Texas, you can now see that appear here. Adding in the worldwide cities is very similar, but also slightly different. To add in cities here, you'll want to add in the city name and then the country that that city is in. If, for example, you run into the issue where the country has multiple cities with the same name, you can write it just like this. That way you're including the city, the state, and the country. However, in most instances, it should be okay if you just add the city name and the country. So for example, if I type in Lima, Peru, it will then appear on the map. And lastly, in the by year places travel with cities tab, it functions the exact same as the by year places travel tab. All you have to do is select the year that you'd like to see where you traveled and the charts will automatically update. And that concludes our tutorial for how to use our travel tracker spreadsheet. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. If you've not yet purchased a spreadsheet but wish to do so, I will also leave a link to purchase the spreadsheet in the description box below. Thank you and we hope to see you around again here soon.